Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about the difference between circuit switching and packet switching. But the first thing we have to discuss is, well, what is switching? Well, switching is a process of data being transferred from one device to another. And these are the two methods that devices use to exchange data between them. So let's first talk about circuit switching. Now, circuit switching is a method where the communication happens through a dedicated circuit or channel that is created between two devices. Circuit switching is connection oriented, meaning that a connection is established before any communication takes place. And then once the connection has been established, the channel remains dedicated to that particular session. So no other devices are able to use that channel until the session is complete. But once the session is over, the channel is terminated and then made available for other devices to use. Circuit switching is primarily used in telephone systems that utilize a dedicated physical path. So in this example, we see data going from the sender to the receiver along the same dedicated path to the destination. And as the data travels, it travels in the correct order. And because they travel in the correct order, there is no need for the receiver to do any kind of reassembly to make the data readable. Now let's talk about packet switching. Now packet switching is a method that's used on the internet where routers are used. Now unlike circuit switching, packet switching is not connection oriented. It is connectionless. So no session or channel has to be established prior to data transfer. So as a device sends data, the data is broken down into individual packets and then those packets will individually and independently make their way to the destination. And since they are all independent, they will take different routes to the destination as they travel, which also means that they may not all arrive in the correct order. But once the data packets reach their destination, the receiving device will reassemble the packets in the correct order so that the data can be read. Hey guys, before we continue, I just want to thank my sponsor for this video, which is Brilliant. Brilliant is an online learning center where you can learn a wide range of courses that make learning complex topics more accessible and enjoyable. What makes Brilliant unique is that they teach by interactive exercises to reinforce learning which is far better than just passive reading or watching videos. Whether it's computer science, coding, engineering, or even cryptocurrency, Brilliant has something for everyone interested in expanding their knowledge. With thousands of lessons to choose from, their interactive lessons make concepts feel intuitive so even complex ideas are easy to understand. And right now you can try everything that Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days by going to brilliant.org forward slash powersert or click the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen. And you'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. So let's talk about some of the major differences between the two. Now in circuit switching, the quality and stability of the communication is better, which makes it better for voice calls. Now packet switching can also do voice data, which is known as VoIP or voice over IP, but it's not as good as circuit switching. However, packet switching is more flexible because in addition to voice, it can carry a lot of other applications such as video, web data, and email. Another difference is that in circuit switching, there is low latency because the bandwidth is fixed. A certain amount of bandwidth is allocated for each session until the session is complete. However, the disadvantage of that is that because the bandwidth is fixed, it is not used efficiently because the sessions don't completely use all the bandwidth available. But in packet switching, the bandwidth is not fixed. Instead, it changes dynamically depending on the demand, which could result in higher latencies. But packet switching is more efficient in using bandwidth because it only uses what it needs rather than a fixed amount. And another difference is that in circuit switching, the data travels in the same dedicated path in sequential order, while in packet switching, the data travels independently and will take different paths to the destination and they may not arrive in sequential order. 
And finally, in circuit switching, the circuit or channel is unavailable for anyone else while in use. But in packet switching, there is no dedicated channel, so there is no waiting for a channel to open. The packets move freely, choosing various routes over the internet. So guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.